What's going on? What's going on? What's going on, fam? I hope y'all are doing great today. I hope you're feeling positive, impactful, and powerful. Today's topic is all about expanding one's mind. You have to expand your mind. If you don't ever expand your mind, you're going to stay in these bubbles. You're going to stay in these situations. You're going to stay exactly where you are. You're going to stay still. And I want to make a, um, a caveat to staying still. I'm a big advocate of being still, but just not for forever. My mom told me this and it's helped me in a lot of different ways. If you're not sure, be still. If you're not sure, stay still. And that will allow certain answers to come towards you. But once you are sure on a direction, on an adventure, on a venture, on a, on a on school, you have to begin to open your mind. You have to begin to tear down some of the walls that we've put up about what we know and what we don't know. You have to begin to revisit certain things. Why? Because when you are not at a certain level of awareness, when you are conditioned very deeply in a certain view, you may miss certain steps or, or certain information on subjects. But when you go and revisit those after your view has, has been broadened, after your mind has been stretched, you'll be able to pick up more of that information. And that whole process is being open-minded. Test your beliefs. Test them. You need to test them. You need to make sure that they are solid. You need to make sure that they're going to hold up through the test of time. You can also begin to pull in other methods of acquiring things that will help you get to where you want to go. I'm a big advocate of multiple methods. I don't just use meditation to broaden my awareness. I also use a uh, tuning fork. I also use talking with people. I also use um, active listening and active hearing. There are more than one methods to get to where you want to go, but you yourself have to one, identify where you want to go. And number two, be open enough to receive the different methods, be open enough to receive the different ways on how to get there and be open enough to recognize that sometimes no matter how much we think we're right, we can be wrong. That's part of being open-minded. So on today's lesson, learn to be open-minded. Continue to seek knowledge. Continue to seek answers. And continue to revisit the things that you think you already know. There's a famous saying to know that we all know it. And it is, the only thing that I know is that I know nothing. And that really, at the end of the day, is the truth. What do you really know? Because what is reality? And with that being said, I love you all. Peace.